Hey guys, my name is Vigo Edits, and lots of people have been asking me lately what I think of the Arden sensor change, if it's either a buff or a nerf. So I thought I would just ramble and make a little video about how it's gonna influence the meta. By the way, the background footage will be from a 5-man pre-mid game where we all rushed CC Rot Portal. Uh, the game was recorded probably like two years ago or something. The enemy brand is gonna get a pentacle, uh, but let's begin the video. In case you don't know, the changes are that healing or shielding and ally champion now also grants you Arden Senses buff instead of only your ally. And then they removed the unhit healing and made the attack speed and unhit damage scale on levels instead of being a flat value. So the buffs and the pros to this is that you get more attack speed uh, the later the game goes. So they have made it a, more of a late game item. Um, this, was all. this will also make it good for pushing. Because now you get the Arden Sensor buff yourself. So imagine you hitting the turret. And then you, you both will get the Arden Sensor buff. And hit it faster because of the attack speed. And then uh, this actually might attract more people to the role, the support role, because you will deal more damage and feel stronger. Everybody loves to make damage, I don't know. <laughs> the fact that the support now gets an attack speed buff and on hit buff is a huge deal if the support is in the position to throw out attacks. It's uh, obviously going to benefit every single healing and shielding support champion, but uh, the one that's going to benefit the most from it is probably going to be Tarek because his passive allows him to double smack his enemies and he can do that even faster now with the, uh, with the attack speed buff. And also the unhit damage works on both of his smacks, so that would be like 40 to 70 extra damage. Um, then also his uh, cooldown on, on his abilities goes down when he auto attacks, so he will basically have more abilities all the time because he can do it faster. Uh, another champion would be Janna, because the you know the change Janna this patch. The more movement speed you have, the more damage you your autos auto steal. Um, this works well with the eight percent bonus movement speed in the item, and also you get the, the Arden buff itself. Well, it will allow you to attack faster and make more use of your new passive. And also she has gotten a bigger auto attack range, so she can do it from further away. Bard can use this as well, because uh, a lot of his damage output comes from his empowered meep autos. So he will basically have throw them faster and deal a bit more damage as well. Uh, Karma can use it, because more auto attacks means less cooldown on her ultimate. And <laughs> I've seen some people cheese around with Trundle because uh, you know Trundle is all about auto attacking so he can really benefit from this but I'll say that it only works if the enemy team has a tank because he likes to steal away the tank stats. So the bad things about this is that you won't really reach a high level as a support. Uh, you will never level up to level 18, it will never happen. You won't be near as many minions, you won't clear the sidelines, etc, etc. You will be out warding, not gaining any XP. Well, you get a little XP from killing wards, but it, it's not enough. Um, but I think that this new Ardent will work really well on mid-champions like Karma, or junglers, especially junglers like Nidalee, because she even got buffed this patch with her healing uh, on E. So it's like, they buffed her E and then they buffed Arden sensor for her because Anita Lee will clear a lot of minions, uh, I mean camps in the jungle because she's so fast at clearing them and, and invading so she will get enemy jungles camp as well. So she, yes, I think she will be really strong this patch. Uh, another jungler is Ivan, he can use this as well, yeah, you know, you build Arden and Ivan as well. Another bad thing is, uh, not bad thing but a con, is that they have removed the plus 25 HP per auto buff, you know, the healing on hit. So now you don't heal 25 he health every auto attack. Um, 
this is important because no one really builds lifesteal anymore. Crit and armor penetration is too valuable. So as an AD carry, your healing basically normally comes from your protective supports in forms of heals and shields. So you have to stick with that. But then you're fucked if, you, <laughs> if your support decides to pick fresh. Or, yeah, fresh is actually okay against the other Orden champs. But he, yeah, you get the deal. He won't get an Orden sensor for you, so you won't get the healing. So AD carries with sustain in their own item builds like the Raven. He loves to go uh, for a blood first deck. He will have sustain even though that he doesn't have an Orden support. So, and also, also, uh, and AD carries with Bloodlust. I think Bloodlust is the shit at the moment. Uh, they will have it much easier time because they will have their sustain on their own, also for the lane. Um, yeah, hyper carries, they almost never build life till, so this could be a critical error for them. It could be really bad, I don't know. They just have, like, hyper carries must pick Bloodlust. So if you can manage to buy Orion Sensor while you're still still in lane, then you have an extremely big advantage at the moment. You will push so fast and out damage your opponents so like it's so big. Imagine you being two versus two on a on a lane and having a fight. You will always throw autos in a two versus two. So both you, the support, and the AD carry, you will both get the buff. Like an attack speed buff and unhit buff damage, uh, unhit damage. Like this, it's, it's so much damage in the early in on lane. So that's insane if you can get it on uh, on the laning phase. In my illo in master tier, you will probably have lane swapped at that time to try and get another objective. Probably you usually swap from bot to top. Maybe I can talk about that later in a video. I don't know. Um, yeah, so this this is gonna be relevant about the laning thing if you're not in super duper high elo. So um, the conclusion is that the item still will be really strong and worth rushing before anything else as a support. But <laughs> I don't know, they keep trying to fix it, but they just end up buffing it almost. So. So, um, yeah, how should they fix it? There are basically two ways to fix the problem. They have to either nerf Ancient Coin, because it gives way too much gold at the moment. Sometimes I see a fresh, he maybe earned 300 with his uh, Relic Shield item. And I'm just here sitting at 640 with my gold coin. At the, like, at, in the same minutes. It's insane. You get too, way too much gold from the coin item. So, either they nerf that or they nerf Arden Sensor, but not like this. They shouldn't nerf it like this, I think. They should be more harsh and just maybe remove the attack speed bonus because it makes it really hard for the enemy AD carries who don't have, uh, who don't have an Arden support to trade with them. Like, it's impossible for a late game AD carry with Ardent to lose uh, against an AD carry without Ardent in the late game. Like, it's... what is it? It's 30, 20 to 35% more damage, basically, if you just watch it as attack speed. Hmm... What more? Yeah, or they could just simply make it more expensive to buy. Like 2,300 is so easy to get, <laughs> especially if your AD carry <laughs> fucking builds Targon's Embrace. Maybe it's just Targon's Embrace, I, ah, I don't know, at least Targon's. Yeah, it's too cheap and too effective at the moment. Uh, I hope you guys now know why it's still strong, and I really think you should try to pick up Nida Lee if you're a jungler, or play Saya if you're an AD carry, or just play Tarek, like Tarek is way too good at, at the moment as a support, he's way too good, he has, he's like a fresh, but also a Janna, like it's so insane. So if you want some free though, you just gotta go out there and like shake your big eagle ass, so your AD carry decides to build targets for you, and then just 
abuse the shit out of art and cancer. 